Hi guys, today we are back once again to bring to you our exciting actions. Uh, we know you have been following up and uh, we can testify that indeed it's been very interesting. And uh, of course I will also want you to try them out too so that you, you learn along. So today we want to go straight to tell, showing us how to take on kicks that are most effective on the street like self-defense most effective kicks and the areas that they can be most effectively used so stay tuned and enjoy this please do not forget to subscribe if you're a first timer subscribe hit the bell and let's get your comments going to take on the first kick the, and in two parts the first front kick it comes in two different ways the snap and the thrust now let's see the first one that is the snap kick that is the thrust kick now how does it go both kicks we're talking about effectiveness both kicks are effective but this is how uh, you they are used now front I mean uh, snap kick goes snap the pivot comes from the knee there the waist is not involved just the knee there now the thrust kick goes mm. the waist goes in and the body is thrust to the opposite direction and the waist is thrust to the other direction alongside the kick hey! that is the thrust kick now we are going to go further to get more explanation and clarification of how the kick works. Just bring a snap kick. Okay, now let me hold it. Now with this, I told us earlier that it comes from here. The force of the kick comes from the knee, pivot. In other way, or other words, you can just lift your leg and hang it here and just from here just take the kick it's very effective then here this is where lands this is the point of your foot that lands on the target and if you're taking a specific target if you take it here to the tummy directly it is effective but to be most effective you take it to the solar, you snap it straight to the solar, bam, it is most effective here, that is the snap kick. Now, let's talk about the thrust kick. Same thing, now the slight difference in the thrust, between the thrust and the snap is from, bring the thrust kick, go, ha. Now, as you can see, you saw the, the difference. The first kick that was snapped, the, the body did not uh, twist or tilt to the other side. The body was still straight here while the kick goes forth. For, uh, for. Now this one, the body goes the opposite direction while the kick comes the other way. Which means the waist now is involved. Now this is what happens. Now send the waist back a bit. No, send the waist back. Uh -huh. good now this is the kick now thrust in the waist now that is what happens so that is to show you what the waist does the effect the waist carries the waist will push will create will bring in more effect i mean more strength will enhance the kick more with the strength if the waist is involved that's why it is called thrust kick because the waist is thrusted in while the other one just snap now i take the kick i'm going to be careful so i do not land it so badly on the target otherwise it is very very devastating i thrust that's a thrust kick now I mean, sorry that's a snap kick i go Fire. now i take a thrust kick. Ah! that's different but i'm careful i restrict the heat on the target so that uh, we'll, go, we'll avoid some devastating effects. Now, another way is 
to the jaw here. It goes like uppercut. Now take the kick up here. Go. That is it. Now the kick comes here. Pam. It is very, very, very devastating. Of course, you can take it in motion. Like an opponent is just stepping in. When I'm stepping in, you take the kick. Go. Pam. That's what happens. You just come in and then you pick the kick. So please do not try this unless you are practicing and you have to be very careful when you are practicing it because that's one shot there, you know what it means. Okay, we are going to take the C, the second kick. Now, the second kick is called slap kick. It has different ways to take it and the, 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 the effect we are going to see the way the areas the points that the effect will actually or you can take it to any part it will be effective but we're talking about the most effective okay now now slap take it just change your leg just take a slap kick here just slap go all right now that is a slap kick now take a slap kick here go here to the thigh good that's a slap kick but here it's called shocking all right now take a slap kick here go good all right now from what you've seen that is those are slap kicks now let me let us let me tell you how it's going to be that one is called slap of course when you talk about slap it's just slap slap might not really be that uh, much devastating but this very slap kick is devastating now take the slap kick with the koshi to here go no not the, not here here go good now with this we can see it's with the instep now take it with here the shin go okay now let's now work it out if you are shocking to be very effective that will take somebody down that kick will be with the shin not with the instep with the shin now you take it bam. this is how you take a slap kick for shocking once it lands here bam, it goes down okay now let me let me take the shocking kick now change okay stand there can I pick from there? That's what I wanted to change so that the camera can pick from me. Okay. Now this is how you take the shocking kick. With the shin. With the shin. It has to do with here. It will weaken. It will weaken the leg. Once that comes with that force, it's called slap kick, but it's also called shocking kick. Because you're taking it with the shin. It shocks. Here, down he goes down fine with that same shin you take for effectiveness more effectiveness what we're talking about like you saw it when it took power she slap there it is effective effective but when it has to do with the shin now it is most effective because the shin now comes to the rib and you're taking that kick straight to the rib with the shin here can easily break the rib. Another way, breaking the rib too with a slap kick can be effective also with what we call the cushion. The instep, just like when you kick front kick with the in there, that same way you kick the slap kick. Take your hand off. I'll just show. I'll be very careful. Boom! That's how it goes there. It lands there. But if it goes with power, you have to be very careful. Bam! It breaks the rib easily. So these are the areas where you can apply slap kick to make them most effective. Like we first of all said that slap kick is effective. But to be most effective, you have to pick those areas. Then if we now go to the to the jaw i mean yes to the side of the neck here it is also very devastating 
with a slap kick that goes with the koshi can also be applied there. Now take a slap kick koshi to the neck there, go. Good. Hold, keep it there. So now that is how it goes. The strike is here. As I as as I, I said earlier, you have to be careful. Do not try this unless you are well trained and you are very very careful about it. Because just one shot with this can end up breaking your neck. So has to be careful. That is one. Still on the neck area, you can decide to use the shin just as you did on the side. The shin equally breaks the neck. But if you use the instep, I mean, I mean, the, the, the upper side of the foot here, it is devastating. But it is not as dangerous as the two I have just shown. This and this. Okay. All right. Now we have taken one, two kicks. The front kick and the slap. So let us look at the number third, the number three kick, the third one. The side kick. I know most of everybody have been hearing of side kick, side kick, side kick, but might not really know how it looks like. Now this is how side kick goes from here. You go there from the side. Now we have we have the knife side and we have the stamping side kick. So if you're given the knife or you're given the stamping, both are all effective. But we are going to see the way they work. Okay. The direct area which you can take the knife uh, side kick to that will give you 100% devastating effect is 1. The rib case, 2. The solar, and 3. The throat. For instance, take a knife edge to here. Solar. Sure. Good. This, if it penetrates the solar here, it gives very devastating effect. It penetrates, bring it back here. This one aligns with, of course, you know, the rib bones are single thread like bones that runs like this across across now this one will come with the knife edge here it will align and get parallel it's going to align parallelly with the bones which makes the bones very very vulnerable to be broken by this kick so you have to be careful if you are practicing this you have to be very very careful that is the danger to stand out in space if you're not careful with it because with this shot can break the ribcage easily okay then the other one is to the throat now take the sharp one and the light one to the throat go good there if it lands here it is very very devastating there's no there's no remedy to it other than taking your opponent down with this kick. It is very dangerous because it goes straight to the throat, aligned very perfectly well to the throat. So you have to be very careful. Do not try this unless you are careful about it. Right? So those are the areas where Yokogiri, put it that way, or you call it psychic generally, is very effective that is for the knife edge now for the stamping the stamping is also as dangerous as the knife the stamping is also as dangerous as the knife edge it's just that the knife edge is very precise to the area of attack while the stamping has covers a larger area of attack for instance I'm stamping, no, just stand, just stand, no word, I'm going to control it, just stamp there, stamp there. If you stamp it to the solar, it gives the same effect. Relatively, the knife edge 
does more penetration because it is more precise it aligns while this other one the stamping covers a larger area but creates the same sensation it goes there it also goes to the throat and also goes to the rib like i said the knife edge is precise effectively while the stamping also very effective but covers a larger area which means the knife edge is prone to cause a more serious damage than the stamping even though the stamping equally is dangerous all right so we are going to pause here until we get uh, come your way with another exciting tip. all right i want to quickly remind us to stay tuned to the to, to our shots to our videos as we upload more of this please do give your comments hit the bell subscribe thank you